Testosterone is a steroid hormone derived from cholesterol that serves as the primary androgen in men. Most of the body's testosterone is produced by the testicles, but a small amount is secreted by the adrenals, small triangular glands located above the kidney. Testosterone production is regulated by the pituitary gland, the master gland, which sits at the base of the brain. The pituitary gland releases a hormone called luteinizing hormone, LH, which travels via the bloodstream to the testes. LH binds to specialized testosterone-producing cells called Leydig cells found in the testicles. Leydig cells function as the primary factory to manufacture and deliver testosterone to the body. Testosterone released by the Leydig cells enters the bloodstream and travels throughout the entire body where it can exert a powerful influence on many systems, including the brain, musculature, penis, liver, and adipose tissue. Testosterone exists in several forms as it travels within the bloodstream. It can float freely within the bloodstream or bind to certain proteins. Albumin is one such protein produced in the liver that will loosely attach to testosterone. Another protein called sex hormone binding globulin, SHBG, creates a very tight bond with testosterone. Free testosterone and testosterone attached to albumin can enter the cell to exert its effect on organ function and is therefore termed bioavailable testosterone. Bioavailable testosterone is the functioning testosterone of the body. The testosterone attached to SHBG is not able to enter the cell due to the strong bond between the two molecules and is not considered bioavailable. Testosterone attached to SHBG is basically trapped within the bloodstream and remains there until it is broken down by the body. In the prostate, testosterone is converted into another hormone called dihydrotestosterone, DHT, which can lead to prostate growth. A portion of testosterone is also converted into estrogen by an enzyme called aromatase. Aromatase is primarily located in adipose or fatty tissue. High levels of aromatase can lead to low testosterone levels due to excess estrogen production. Understanding testosterone metabolism is the first step in realizing the importance of this essential male hormone. The diagnosis and treatment of testosterone deficiency is based on this vital knowledge.